your daily updates. Newsman Dennis Daly offers his take on the events of the day in another daily video blog. Hi and thanks again everybody. Well look over there. It's one of your neighborhood ice cream trucks getting ready to make its rounds for the day and you can be darn sure that pretty soon there'll be an army of little kids following behind. And perhaps the earliest company to take ice cream on the road was Good Humor. At first, the roving salespeople only sold one item, chocolate-covered ice cream bars on a stick. But by the mid-1930s, the line had been greatly expanded to myriad ice cream treats. At its peak in the 1950s, Good Humor had more than 2,000 trucks on the street and a lot of competition. By the late 1970s, the trucks had disappeared, most sold to local entrepreneurs. They got a new paint job and a second life. In 1989, the huge Unilever company bought up what was left of good humor, bringing it into a frozen treat family that already included Gold Bond ice cream and Popsicle. Eventually, Unilever would buy up Breyer's ice cream and Klondike. The company produces so many frozen products that it takes nine plants nationally to keep up with the demand. On the street ice cream trucks have always been popular, but the original need for the trucks was simple. Few families had a refrigerator at home. The old ice box could keep things reasonably cold for a day, but could not handle frozen products. That's why there used to be so many soda fountains both freestanding and in drugstores. People would stop in every day. Ice cream used to be sold in smaller containers. Dad would go by the soda fountain on the way home from work and pick up a pint or quart for supper that night. America's love affair with ice cream goes back to colonial times. As a matter of fact, the first documented iced cream store opened in 1776. Today, groceries have what seem like thousands of choices, both in large packages and old-fashioned treats, like those sold from your neighborhood ice cream truck. Well, it looks as though the ice cream truck for this neighborhood is heading out for another day of fun. I'm Dennis... Oh, make mine vanilla! I'm Dennis Daly with your Daily News Update.